The Fit in Scottsdale, Arizona, here today to take you through a glute blaster power flow dumbbell workout for about the next 30 minutes or so. So welcome, welcome everybody. I hope you are having a great day. It's a beautiful day. We finally are feeling spring in, in Scottsdale, Arizona. So that means times for shorts, bathing suits, it's coming around. And this product from Life Pro is going to be your game changer to get you stronger, a little more shapelier for the months to come. So I want to welcome everybody on social media, whether you're joining me on Facebook or you're on YouTube or Amazon, welcome, welcome. Uh, if you're new to Life Pro, I'm excited to show you these products, the Power Flow Plus dumbbells and the Loot Blaster, but I'm not going to go through a lot of specs on the product. I will put in the link um, what uh, another workout that I did. We launched this product in February, and I did a workout. Amber launched it, and I did a workout talking about how to, how to use this product for exercise. Today is going to be more of a workout. I want to really get to work on this stuff. And um, I also will be putting some links in there so that if you have questions, you can just feel free to... Uh, you let me know, you know what the questions are. I will answer them. If you have any concerns, always you can always private message me or put it in the chat. I'll hit you up later. But uh, this workout is not going to be a beginner workout. the The first video was more of how to. This is gonna. I'm gonna amp it up a little bit. But of course, I'll give options because there's always options. Because let's face it. it, when you get to be older, active aging adults, we've got a little issues in our tissues. But the glute blaster will help you to have better alignment when it comes to lunges and squats. I mean, that's key. And to do hip lifts. Now, I'm holding in my hand one of two of the resistance bands that comes with the product. I, um, I am going to still use the, uh, the lighter one. The heavy duty is heavy duty. And uh, I've already done Pilates and I've been to the gym. So I'm going to go a little bit lighter on, on the resistance. But feel free to amp it up. Also, uh, I have, I'm going to be using in this workout the mini stability ball. This came with the balance trainer. Uh, if you don't have a stability ball, no worries. You can use a pillow or something squishy because we're going to work a little bit in our thighs. Uh, the dumbbell selection, I'll be using anywhere between 5 to 15 pounds for me. And these are really easily adjustable. You just pull up the lever and switch it out. That's why I love the, the adjustable dumbbells. Plus, it's got a stand so I can stash things underneath. Uh, again, if you want to see more about the specs, I will put a link in the, uh, um, in the chat so you guys can see that. So let's begin. I am going to just do the first several uh, exercises without weight. So that's going to be my warm-up. And if you just give me a minute here because I have... A screen that has my workout, so I want to put that in there so I can make sure I'm doing everything. There's going to be about, oh gosh, about, let's see, about 12 exercises or so that we'll be doing, and that way you'll be able to, um, and I'll also post these these exercises in, in, the, in the chat. So if you're in the VIP group, this video will be in our group constantly. I don't think we keep it on the Life Pro business page. And I will also, when we post it on YouTube, I will um, put it in the YouTube comments. So know that this is a recorded video or a recorded exercise. So you don't have to worry about, ah, I didn't catch all of it or I wanna do certain parts of it. You can always kind of take sections of it. So I have talked enough. I don't wanna to talk too much because this is about the workout. So let's begin. I've set it up for the right height for my knees, and you're just going to make sure that everything is right for you. I've got the right height for when I do my, my squats, my lunges. I can adjust the seat, so everything's in place for me. So make sure everything is working right for you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to warm up with lunges. I'm going to put my right foot underneath the roller and my left knee on the pad, my foot's on the plank. So I'm going to set up in that perfect 90-90. And because I'm not using weight yet, you know what I'm going to also do? I'm going to start my, uh, my heart rate monitor because I know this is going to be a calorie burner. So here we go. I'm going to start coming up. I'm going to lift and lower 
Inhale and exhale. And we're going to do anywhere between 8 and 10 reps. So again, just to warm things up, coming up and down, reaching to the sky. The breath is super important here. Three and two and one. I'm going to step forward. It's a quick change out. I'm going to find my kneeling position. This has a really nice padded uh, pad for the knee, so I like that part too. Okay, ears, shoulders, hips. My right knee is back, so my right hand is forward to start. And I go up and down. Just simply pushing into the front heel. That's all I got to do. And push off those back toes and breathe. Just lifting up and lifting down. The perfect form on the glute blast. Glute blaster. Four more. And three. And two. And one. Okay. So, squats are a dream here. We launched the Incline X and the Squat Pro Wedge, which is super to help you guys for ankle mobility, stability, and getting a better uh, alignment for squats. But now I'm going to lean back, lean back, lean back. Now, I'm not warmed up enough, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach and back. More of a, uh, I'm going to call this a gladiator squat rather than a sissy squat. So I'm leaning, I'm hinging from the hips. I'm going to breathe in, breathe out. I want to get all those joints, my knees, my hips, my shoulders all warmed up. Get that blood flowing, my heart pumping. Five and four. Three. Yeah, I can feel my heart pump. <laughs> Two. I don't know why I, it always surprises me. I know this is going to happen, but I have to laugh. Okay. Now, right from here, another, uh, we're going to call it just like the basic move, is our deadlift. Hinging from the hips, please put your hands behind your head on this because I don't want the head to lead. You're going to let the chest lead forward, hinge, hinge, hinge. Check that first one out. You're going to feel the hamstrings pulling up a little bit. Back is flat and press back. So if that works for you, great. If you don't like going behind, having your hands behind your head, you might just want to hold here and back. I don't lay around your back on this. It's a nice flat back, belly pulled in, I'm hingy, and then my glutes fire up. If you want to add some arm movement, we can lift and lower and exhale and hinge it over. Keep the chin pulled in. Whatever floats your boat that feels good, but you know it's work. And I've got four more of these. Lifting nice and tall, reaching out wide. Big breath, and one more. So those were the basics that I did for my warm-up. So I'm going to go into my lunge, and I see I've got some comments in chat, so I want to hit my chat screen to see what you guys have to say. If by any chance you have this product, let me know. Let me know how you're liking it, what you're doing it, what your favorite exercise is. Okay, first exercise with, with weights, we're going to do shoulder presses. So, lunge, bicep curl, the shoulder press. I'm going to go 10 pounds. I'm going to use one weight only. I'm going to start with that first leg like I did in my warm-up. Right leg forward. Left leg back. It is the same leg front, the same arm is where I'm going to do my work. So, I come down with the bicep hammer curl and press up and down. You can see my hands on my hip. That's an option. You might put your hand behind your head. Keep the abs pulled in. Someone asked me, can you do core work on this? Well, guess what? This is core work. So like I said, I'm going to do about 8 to 10 reps. I've got three more. Pushing out that back toe. I wore white shoes so you can see my feet. And one. Excellent. Shift it out. So again, heart rate's coming up. Get in your position here. It's not how you start. It's how you finish, but you want to start with great alignment. So hand is at my side. I'm going to go hammer curl to press and down. And push up. Exhale. I keep driving both hip bones forward. I 
About five more of these, what do you think? Press it through. Let me know where you're viewing in from, guys. Are you in my neighborhood? What part of the world are you? Last one. And release. Okay, from here, we're gonna work on planks. A couple cool things about planks with this system. I'm gonna slide this over just a little bit. That's how easy it is to move. So I want some leg length here. Do it a little more. Is, and I mentioned this in uh, the first video. I like that I can put my hands on handles. Shoulders are right over my wrists. And you can come into your plank just like this. Now, if you don't like that, you can always hold on. And I think I'm gonna start here because what I wanna do is our alternating hand to shoulder taps. You wanna to try to keep the hips from rocking and rolling. So that means your glutes have to fire up. Abs are pulled in, tap and tap. When I'm on my right hand, my left foot is doing a lot of work and vice versa. That counterbalances me. So obliques are fired up. You've got four, three, two, and one. And you're done. Shake your wrist out. I count, so I breathe. So I wanna make sure you're counting when you're doing this. That way I know you're breathing. Second set of planks, because we can, we're gonna go right into fire, Spider-Mans. So this is gonna amp up my cardio a little bit, my heart rate. And breathe those knees out. Keep pushing away from the ground. Now if you want a little bit faster, let's go four, three, two, and one. And come on off. Make sure you have some water handy. Oh, I'm gonna bring my heart right down a little bit. Our next exercise. Hey Debbie, glad you're joining me. Thanks Brian, you're sweet. We are going to do deadlifts with wide, with wide rows. So a wide row, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter on this. Yeah. I'm gonna go five pounds. Yeah, no, actually, yeah, I'm gonna go five pounds for the deadlift. Feel free to try 10. Let me slide this back a little. So I got good positioning. Very easy to move, guys. That's what I love about it. So here's my deadlift. My palms are facing my thighs. My hands are gonna kind of shave down my thighs to my kneecaps, belly pulled in, and a row, and a lift. Maybe I could have done 10 pounds. Oh well. And lift. Hinge back, pull those elbows wide. So I didn't say high, I said wide. That way you're not getting into your traps, into your neck. Use the breath. And lift tall. Feel like you're zipping up from pubic bone to sternum. The head is always in line with the spine. Let's do some repeaters here. Let's go for five, four, a little more challenge in the spine, three, two, one. Bring it up, one more set just like that. Inhale and exhale. There we go, there you have it. Your deadlifts with wide rows. And um, actually I think my next exercise is gonna be a uh, sissy squat. So I'm gonna go back to 10 pounds. I already did one set of shoulder presses and bicep curls. This is another opportunity to do the same thing. Okay, a second set. But first we want to sit back. So keep sitting back. Now, you know, I'm not hinging forward. I'm really bringing my spine back. And I press up. I'm going to sit back. I think I'm not going to go into a bicep curl. I think I'm just going to use my 
military press here. Push the hips back. There we go. Oh, guys, I got to tell you, um, this is an amazing and absolutely incredible way to get the perfect form for squats. You got to trust it. It's solid. It can handle 220 pounds of weight, a person up to 6'3". Couple more. That means only two more. I know I really can't count well. And last one. Whew. Powerful, powerful moves. So speaking of power, we're going into hip thrusts. So there's a little bit of setup involved, just a little. I'm gonna slide this back and I'm gonna grab my um, Life Pro. This is my Life Pro. Mini stability ball. If you got the balance trainer, you get that. Otherwise, again, you can find them pretty cheap online. The hip thrust, we're going to work with a tricep press up. I'm going to use one weight. I'm going to hold it in my, hand, two, in my hands like this. So I'm going to go to 15 pounds on this. Yeah. Play around. You know, the first time you do this, err on the side of caution. And you can always add more later. And remember one thing. Momentum is in strength. You want to get stronger. You go slower. That's why I like the breathing aspect because I know I'm taking time to inhale, exhale. Like it slows me down a little bit. So I've got a couple things I've got to do. I set my strap. Put it at the feet of the platform. I'm going to put the ball between my thighs. Not my knees, my thighs. Okay, I'm going to take this weight carefully. I'm going to hold it right on the edges of my hips, or um, and it's resting my hips. Now, some people will just thrust up, right, and down, but we don't need to do worry about that because we've got the resistance band. So, we're weights here. We're going to try tricep press up, skull crusher, lift the hips higher, squeeze the ball, and drop down. Exhale. Inhale, keep lifting those hips, squeeze the ball. And back down. So there's a two-part breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Press up, lift, breathe in, breathe out, and pull back. I love that I'm doing three things at one time. I've got glutes, inner thighs, triceps, and actually a whole bunch more. My hamstrings, my back muscles, my abs. <sighs> Reach back past your forehead, lift strong, and then pull down. How about four more of these? Dig your heels in, press up, bend back, reach up, pull that weight down. So I've got an extra 15 pounds I have to push up, then I bring it back. <sighs> Last two guys. All our triceps. Last one. And done. So, I'm going to hang out here for a second. I'm going to do a quick stretch because while I'm here, I'm going to hit a second set. So, straighten the leg, cross over, get the hip to stretch out a little bit, wiggle out the knee, inner thigh stretching out, switch it out. I start with the leg straight, cross over, and then I can walk my foot up. And there's a bit of a stretch. Now, I'm going to work a little bit more. I don't need the ball. I'm going to work more of the outer hips here besides the glute max. So, the position is so. I've got heels together, toes apart, knees are wide. I'm going to put my hands behind my hips. I'm a Pilates teacher. This is called Pilates V. I'm also going to work some inner thighs, but it's a lot of hips, okay? I'm going to press up and lift and lower. Dig into the inner heels, the big toe lift, and lower. I'm gonna add on to this after I do, this is three, I'm gonna do five, four, I'm gonna stay five, I'm gonna drop and lift, five. I'm scooping my tailbone, four. Pulling the belly in, three, two, hold it open, and you're gonna open and close the knees. Inner thighs, outer thighs, five, four, three, two, 
One, keep it lifted little, tiny pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, burning on one. And release. Okie doke. So that's the hip thrust. <laughs> this machine was made for that move. Now, um, I'm going to do a little bit of a little aerobic uh, exercise here just to hit the outer hips. So put your weights in the stack. You know, trip on them. Safety first. I'm going to put this band, tuck it under. And we're just going to do some side step ups. So my feet are parallel. I'm going to sit down. And we know what a squat is like. Then we'll lift up. And you can open and close. Now, I could have added weight onto this. But I just want to get some blood flow here. And lift. Soft landing. I don't want, I don't want to hear myself land. Just very lightly. Five. Sink low. Four. Because you can. Three. Two. And one, we're going to do the other side. So I'm working those outer hips. A little abduction. Okay, back side. Line things up, toes in alignment. You're going to sit back to start and lift. Nice and soft landing. Press through the standing leg. Exhale. Push through the heels. A little balance here. You have four more. Reach three. Lift the heart two. And one. Yep. I am in my mid to high aerobic zone. Not anaerobic, but aerobic. I'm going to grab some water. How are we time wise? So, about 17 minutes into it. I'm going to keep moving a little bit. Okay. So. I've got another set of hip thrusts. We're going to do a chest press with that. So, um, 10 pounds for me each hand. You want a little more inner thigh? Use the ball. And actually, I'll tell you why I like the ball. Because when you lift, you squeeze the ball and you pull up through the pelvic floor. So you're getting more glute. It'll be less if, you, if you're a tense to cramp on hip lifts. So that ball is very, very helpful. So I'm going to put away on each side. So I'm ready to roll. Have a seat. I think it was one of our VIP guys, Nick, that asked me about, you know, can you do core on this? And like I said, you don't have to do regular crunches. You know, I'm not, not to say there's anything wrong with them. But uh, this is, guys, this is a lot of core work. It really, truly is. And, uh, you know, when you're working your core, you're working front and back body. Okay, so I'm putting my band in, lining it up. I've got that ball almost like I'm birthing the ball. It's really close up toward the pelvis. I'm going to take both weights in my hands on my chest, lining up my feet, knees, and hip sockets. I'm going to press up. I'm going to push up and then I rotate. So here we go. I'm going to drop down and press. Elbows wide. Exhale. Squeeze that ball. Let your eyes look forward and then look to the sky. Elbows just a little bit lower than the shoulders. Keep it in the chest line, not over the throat. Eight. Here's two more. Power up, and 10, hold it up here. Let's pump up, five more reps. Keep the hips lifted, pushing that straight up, and come down. So yeah, I can feel all my spine muscles working as well. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so from those hip thrusts with the chest press, I have two more exercises that are gonna definitely be more on an advanced side, like a level two plus. And we're gonna, I'm only gonna do about five of these. Very challenging, I just gotta tell you. It was a last minute decision to show you them. And I'm gonna do it first without weight. 
and then I'll have my 10 pounder. So, give me some room. So we know what a lunge feels like. You know what a lunge feels like, right? We're here. So what I want to do is I'm going to come up. I'm going to push off the back foot. My calf is against the pad and my hinge from the hip. So this is almost like doing my deadlift, right? And then I'm going to come back up. I'm going to lean back and my toe's going to find the platform. My knee's going to find the pad. It's pretty intense, but you can do it, okay? So I'm going to grab my weight. The weight is in the opposite uh, hand of the, of the leg that's working to press down into. So I lunge up. I'm going to pivot forward. The weight's going to come forward to counterbalance the lifting of my leg. I can add a row here. I can reach it back, and then I find the foot plate, and I bend down. Right? Up. Breathe in. Exhale. Hinge. Give it a row. Push through the heel, and bring it back. If you do yoga, you know what a warrior three is like. This will help you to have the best warrior three in your practice. And up. Counterbalancing head and weight, leg comes up, I row, and then I come back down. Keeping the abs pulled in, I got one more, just five of these, they are intense, okay? I think I have five. Okay, up, hinge, pushing into this pad, lifting this leg, giving it a little lift here, and reaching back, using my back muscles, to come down. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like I said, kind of last minute thought to put it in, but I know some of you guys are not beginners. And if you are a beginner, remember, you're only a beginner once. And you practice, and practice doesn't make perfect. Practice makes you stronger. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Practice makes you stronger. Makes your body work more efficiently. It boosts your metabolism more effectively. You don't give up. Okay, come on up. We're gonna hinge. Ooh, yeah, this is a little bit wobblier. Come on up. Find the balance. Give me the pull. I'm gonna keep my hand here. Remind me to pull my belly in and shift back. Interesting. Dude, we're not created symmetrically. Okay, get tall. Power up. Float it forward. Pushing into the front leg. I've got support here, so I'm good. And then row, reach down, and shift back. There we go. Second one was I felt more confident. My body knew it was doing. My proprioceptors were communicating from my feet to my brain. Strong in the leg. There's a little knee bend to support the knee, not to crank into it. How is that, guys? Is that three or four? I'm gonna just do one more. <laughs> Truth be told, this side is fatiguing up quicker. Tall, shift, press in the calf, lift that leg, reach down, long line of energy, pull it up, and back down. Wow. Okie doke. So the last exercise in today's workout is another one that I want you all to try. And you need to be by a wall. And you'll get stronger, you'll get more balanced, and you won't need the wall. So I'm going to slide this away a little bit. But I'm going to have my wall handy. The gladiator split squat. It's a single leg squat. So you're gonna put a foot, and I'm gonna press my shoelaces down on here. And I walk pretty far away, because I wanna make sure that when I bend my knee, my knee's not gonna go over, okay? So I gotta walk out farther. Okay, it's gonna feel kinda of awkward in the beginning, guys, I just tell you that, okay? Head back, shoulder back. I'm gonna squat to lift, okay? So when you have your balance, you squat, to lift, you gotta press into 
all five toes push into the heel to drive it up you're hinging from the hips i am a little shaky i'm trying to look sideways i'm keeping this hip open and i know that leg can go back further back and up you can always add a weight to it here okay let's try the other side i'm gonna bring my foot a little further forward i think i can i think i can i think i can okay it just feels odd if you've never done the gladiator squat or i'm, I'm sorry yeah both gladiator i want to call it the bulgarian but it's a gladiator come on back down abs are in push through the heel yeah i think i was was it far enough away this feels better yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna diagonal see that diagonal line and i press up finger against the wall breathe in breathe out and add weight when you're ready you got one more and that's it okay guys taking some time to stretch want you to also do the same so let's slide this guy out Keep some room here I'm gonna sit on my stool legs are wide flexing toes nice long spine okay and then we're just going to sit nice and tall first i'm going to bend both knees they're wide inner thigh stretch and i'm hinging from the hips now i'm not rounding the back here i'm going to flat back this is to lengthen all those muscles i worked when i did my deadlifts and my squats and my thrusts okay then i'm going to round my spine tuck and lift a little bit of cat cow tuck pull the belly in and lift the chest, not the chin. Tuck. You do the same thing now with feet here. Round and lift. Just think of it as a cat cow sitting. Just loosen things up. I don't want you to stiffen up on me. One more. And then we're going to go to a side stretch. One leg out. I'm going to lift up and over. I didn't do any side planks today. I had an idea to do that, but I threw in those intense... Uh -huh. lunges with a single leg deadlift hip extension open it up and bring it back you can put your hand behind your head get a tricep stretch let's do one more on the other side so i'm nice and wide i'm reaching through the inner thigh taking it over taking it up hand behind the head tricep stretching out letting my spine move in a lot of directions it was meant to Last time. So I've got a nice hamstring stretch going at the same time as my inner thighs. I'm gonna come back in. Sit cross leg, whatever feels good for you. You can even sit with the feet together. Let's do a little twist one way and then the other. One more time. You're gonna roll your shoulders out. Bring your feet together. Go ahead and lift yourself up. Put your fingertips on the floor. Drop your heels down. Your toes are on the platform. There's your calf stretch, your hamstring stretch. Bend and straighten your legs. Feel all the way from the ankle to the calf to the back of the thigh. Bend your knees. Roll yourself up. Reach up. Stretch up. Breathe in. Breathe out. And that was our workout today. So, whew. Um, not bad for uh, 30 minutes, about 165 calories, working calories, burned calories. So that's pretty good. Um, again, it's not about the calories. It's about form, quality of movement, breath, feeling strong from the inside out. So guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this workout. If you have any questions, like I said, put in the chat, hit me up on social media. I'm on Instagram. Um, I'm on Facebook. My email is info at livfitt.com. I am going to put in the chat uh, here, I'm going to put how you can get these products, the links. I'll also be putting a link for the workout I did on February 7th. It was just kind of an introductory to using the glute blaster. $179.99 on the Life Pro website. The weights, you get both of them, two sets of weights for $189.99. And the stand, I believe, 
$79.99. So Complete Gym, you got it right here. Working from the inside out to get strong and fit, to live fit and age well. That's my motto, and I'm sticking to it. I hope you will, too. Bye for now.